showing his muscles. So I would just like to apologize for taking so long to do my videos but I am having a bit of problems with my internet connection and my computer when it comes to downloading the files. I am working on it and also these babies they keep me so busy. Our Cape Town trip was awesome but one tip if I can give you one if you ever come to Cape Town and you do the wine and cheese route the bucket on the table is for the leftover wine you don't have to down everything wink wink if you know what I mean so I just got back from doing the monkey shopping I think I did go a bit overboard because I'm running out of space but this will be for three days and 14 monkeys that is my 10 that I'm taking care of and the extra four down the road so it is back to bribery on getting the monkeys out we need to clean their room but with this winter weather, it's not cold outside, but you can feel there's a difference. And they are stubborn and they don't want to go out. Little Arnie here. I don't know why I call them little. They're not little anymore, but oh, they'll always be little in my eyes. Even Enzo and Diego. I always keep telling them, everybody, little Diego or little Enzo. But... That's what I'm used to, so yes. Now getting all these monkeys out, little Bella. See, little again. Oh, little Bella. Look how big she's getting. She is very tired at the moment, but she can't go to sleep now because we need to clean. So Jane is over there bribing everybody. Jane, you need to bribe that side as well. Those are the two little ones. And Zena, she is here for the weekend and her mom will be picking her up and on Wednesday. So she is here to come play with her best friend Arnie and she's loving it. Zena, she is just gorgeous. She is so sweet, adorable. Oh, and I can kiss her all over. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Ooh. Let's see if we get them. Okay. Arnie. He's out, but his hands are empty. I don't know why. Jane, did you give Arnie some this side? We're not used to his hands that is empty and no food in the mouth. Jane is a bit short, so she's trying her best. Jump, Jane, jump. No, just joking. And there he goes. Who's left? MacGyver, as always. MacGyver and Bella being stubborn. MacGyver, come. And Tina. She is always everywhere. Supermodel. So, the lemons was not a success. We are quickly going to boil them some eggs. And I know that is always a winner. Hello, Chloe. got two things I want to do today I don't know which one I'm gonna do first or 
even if I can do both of them today, otherwise I should do one today, one tomorrow. But the first one is, I want to see if I can save my vegetable garden. I had a beautiful vegetable garden over here and then we got monsters. They took over my vegetable garden, they ate everything, not only the vegetables, but the containers they were in. So I thought, let's see what I can do today. It looks really bad, but hopefully I can save the ones that are still there. Sina, hi there puppy. She likes to steal everything with her tail. She's actually the only monkey that can grab with her tail. Or that actually wants to grab with her tail. She knows it's long. She knows it's strong. And unlike the others, she knows what to do with it. The others, they do. They hang with it. They play on it. But Zena, she is a little thief. She can grab you around the neck and she has done it with me a few times. And just pull me closer. Just look at her. Let's see if she can take her tail again. Zina. No, give me a tail. There. Ooh, and she, she, she's got me with that tail. She is such an awesome monkey. I'm so glad she's here for the weekend. And we love her to bits. She is so part of the family. And also, every time Zena's here, Arnie is like a different monkey. They are two peas in one pot, if I can say it like that. He doesn't care about the other monkeys. He just wants Zena. I don't know if it is because she resembles Buddy. But both of them together, they are so naughty. Little Bella, she is getting so big and beautiful, but I must say she is starting to get a little bit of a holding, holding is attitude, because now she is getting bigger and she's trying to make her point, but I'm still the mommy, and if I say no sweets or anything after four, I mean it. MacGyver! Look at this big boy. He is getting bigger by the day. And once again, Zena wants to be in the spotlight. My supermodel. So the next video is going to be Chaka. I did a few videos on each monkey and I did fall behind. So yes, stay tuned for the next time and it would be Chaka time. But for now, let's see what I can do about that vegetable garden. <laughs> The sorry excuse of a vegetable garden. And there he goes. Ani. Hi, little Bobby. Hi, gorgeous. I love you. I love you, my baby. Who's the biggie boy? I know, my gorgeous. You are so gorgeous. Arnie is just picking out the best ones. Usually it's the apple that he wants, but I think they already ate it. Let's get them some nuts. I'm going to get the nuts and I'll show you how much Arnie loves it. Want mommy to have a bite? Thank you, my sweetie. What should I do? Put it in? 
Danke. Mm. Mm. He usually does that. He likes to put stuff in my hand. Then he'll take my hand and shove it to my face. And as soon as I make a noise, usually that noise that it says it's tasting good, he'll try it. And Zina, she is trying to take the phone with her tail again. Huh, Nunes? Oh, she's a clever girl. Okay, so I've got on his peanuts and he loves it. I think they just like to break the shell. They love the noise of breaking the shell because they don't always eat the peanuts. They just throw it on the floor. Okay, except Arnie. Arnie eats everything. But the others, I think they really just like the sound of breaking the shells. Let me quickly give the others some. Cla Lily! That is Chloe. <laughs> oh Billy, he doesn't like to share whatsoever. So usually if I put something in, he tries to grab it from me because he doesn't want the others to have some. But Bella, she doesn't care. If she wants it, she'll take it. Chloe is like a hamster. She likes to put all of them in her mouth at once. So I took out the dead wheat and everything that was in here. So I'm just going to prepare this with some compost and also some magic beans. Uh, they call it magic, magic something. And according to them, it helps the stuff grow much faster and much better. So I'm going to put that in the soil with the new compost that I'm waiting for. Okay, so this is the magic beans or magic thingamajiggies that's going to boost my strawberries. So... On the strawberries, when it is done, sorry, it does look a bit sad, but I am working on it. Um, after it has made its fruit, I think it skips a year where it actually makes new babies. So what I'm going to do is the root is there at the bottom. I'm just going to snip it and I'm going to plant this thing in there and I'll be hanging it like that one and I'll pay more attention to the garden I think it was because the dogs destroyed it that I lost interest in it but I, I need something extra to keep me busy as the monkeys they love being lazy during the winter and only plays inside he is gorgeous and MacGyver, oh I just love them, hey my baby, <laughs> he's just being naughty because Madam Zena is here and when they are together they are like Jack and Jill or Bonnie or Clyde but these two together, yeah, they are terrible twins. That's what I call them. Okay, guys, I am done. So, I took out everything. All the yucky bushes and stuff. I actually placed in some more soil. Fresh, nice soil on them. Also, as well as that magic beans. 
I also trimmed all the dead pieces off so now it's only the fresh pieces that are left strawberries I've done now I need to clean up before Michael gets here I must say I really do miss my garden in the mornings I would come pick some tomatoes and strawberries cucumbers all that for the monkeys and I know I grew them with love and Arnie loved the fresh veggies so let's see and I'll keep you up to date on what I could have saved and what not So it's the same story as with the monkeys. I can sit here for hours and just watch them. They are so calm and peaceful and happy and I think I should stand up now because my big boy might spray me with, yep, almost had me, almost. Michael is allowing me to help feed the babies tonight. Allowing? It's like I never allow her to do it. <laughs> he doesn't. Come, you got? And here they come. So I'm going to try my best to do it as Michael does it. I'm going to give him the phone. Okay, let's see this. It's warm water. It's a little warmer than you might think. Okay, now first, Enzo's going to walk back if you show it to him a few times. He's going to walk back. Just go. Okay. No, you... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, next. No, for Enzo. Enzo, is he ready? Enzo! Yeah. He's not used to me feeding them. <laughs> this is so not fun. <laughs> well, I guess she can do this every night now for the rest of her life. <laughs> and you just see that water falling on her as she throws it there's a special way of throwing you throw it away from you not over you <laughs> yeah the cats also want theirs that is why sometimes when you're done feeding the tigers you gotta go take a shower okay now let me continue here she can that's it. Yeah. The problem is you have to do that for the cats. This is not a very nice thing to do, but it needs to be done. Believe me, it's not nice. It's very few people that will be able to do this. But it is very necessary. Just look at them. I'll show you another method of feeding the tigers. This is a special method that you don't always get to do. <laughs> <laughs> you need more practice. <laughs> Just for Enzo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goody. This one will be for Diego, but I'm going to throw it over there. So. <laughs> <laughs> he 
me, almost threw me. <laughs> Ew. It's too big. I'll do it. I'll do it. Show off. <laughs> there it goes. Well, guys, that's it for me for today. Thanks for watching, and please remember to like and subscribe. <laughs>